YouTube, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Gabby, I am a Lululemon educator and today's video is a part of my monthly series called Buy or Buy where I go through all of Lululemon's new releases and tell you whether I would buy them or not. Just as a disclaimer, these are all of my own opinions. This video is not sponsored in any way or affiliated with Lululemon at all. This is just me telling you whether I would buy an item or not. I will have everything linked down below in the description if you want to shop and support me here. It would be greatly appreciated. But without further ado, let's check out what's new at Lululemon. Just to preface, this video is being filmed on Tuesday, September 27th, so those are the drops I'm going to be reacting to, plus a few others in there that maybe have come out since my last buy or buy, but be sure to go watch that. So without further ado, let's hit screen record. The first thing that someone wanted me to react to in this next buy or buy is the new throwback print from Lululemon. If you didn't know, Lululemon has been doing a kind of throwback series of items, but this month, they brought back a print, which is the unicorn tears. Now, personally, I wasn't really a huge fan of Lululemon. Like I wasn't like into Lululemon like I am now when this print originally came out. So I actually didn't really know the original version. I had to go Google it, but they did bring it back in this kind of wasabi and moonlit magenta kind of pattern going on. So I feel like online, it definitely does not do it justice at all in store, like on, it wasn't as bad, I would say. It is definitely a very bold and busy pattern, so it's not something super practical to wear day to day. I feel like where some of the other pieces you could definitely get away with more athleisure look or you could dress them up kind of thing. This is very geared towards only using for fitness. I mean, obviously you could wear it for whatever you choose, but I just feel like in terms of like practicality, a lot of people would just use this for like going to yoga or something like that. For me personally, not a huge fan. The one thing that really gets me is the green stripe down the little leg of the align pants. Maybe not the most flattering place to put the green like trickle down there. Anyways, the flow Y was probably my favorite thing out of the collection. I feel like with paired like with a solid bottom, it has potential, but overall I just feel like this is a little bit too much. Uh, maybe the Align shorts I could also do with like a solid color top of like a Wasabi or Moonlit Magenta, black, white, gray, kind of offset it. But together as a set, I feel like it was just a lot going on. You guys can head to my TikTok to see that try on if you would like. But overall, I just feel like this might've been a miss. I would love to have seen it in other items such as like a belt bag or a hair scrunchie or hottie hot shorts, an energy bra, something like that that wasn't Nulu. I feel like maybe could withstand like more of a training session that I would wear it to because they're Nulu and the material is quite delicate itself. I wouldn't really wear this to work out in. So that would be my take on the Unicorn Tears throwback pattern. Okay, now let's jump into the actual new releases of lately. So the first thing we have here, brushed soft stream split hem pant. I don't know if I touched on this before or if that was just in a TikTok kind of all blur together, but these are like the regular soft stream pants. So it's like a super soft material that has a split hem at the bottom. For me personally, I don't really know how to feel about the split hem thing coming back. I'm not sure if I'm fully on board with that, but the pants are cute and very comfortable. Next we have the Wonder Puff cropped vest, a new color in trench. I have the black one. If you guys saw my haul last week, then if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I have been absolutely loving the vest so far. I've been wearing it constantly. Currently, it's hot outside right now, but when it was colder last week, I pretty much wore it every single day, and it's like the perfect, cute little fall layering piece, like for fall or spring. So I'm really happy with that purchase, and I do feel like it is worth the price tag if I'm going to get a lot of wear out of it, especially the black one, where I feel like it's going to be more of a closet staple for a few years. But the trench is also very, very cute definitely on my watch list. We got some more smoke spruce items. This is the Love V-neck. Again, another like classic basic t-shirt, which is very nice. I'm gonna try and go through these more quickly so you're not sitting here forever, but grab some drinks and a snack if you are here because it might take a little while to get through all of the new releases. The next thing we have are the speed ups in Faded Zap. 
nothing really new just a new color there we do have the roasted brown align tank which i actually really like this color i picked up a few things in roasted brown already i need to get the leggings i feel like but there is an align tank now to complete the set in case you are buying that color up we got the gray sage like a cloud bra one of my favorites of course highly recommend we have a few new scuba hoodies. Now, the US got a lot more than Canada did. So, in Canada, we only got this pomegranate one in the half zip, but in the US, and I'll insert pictures, they got the powder blue, green juniper, and electric turquoise all in the half zip, which is really nice. I definitely have my eye on electric turquoise. And so, you're just gonna have to stay tuned to find out if I ever manage picking it up, if it drops in Canada. This pomegranate looks super close to ripened raspberry, but it is a lot darker than ripened raspberry I believe but it is a gorgeous fall and winter color for sure the next thing we have here is the pace rival skirt this is in the long version but really it is 15 inches inseam I feel like this is like the perfect length for me personally especially the 12 just seems like really really cheeky and the 17 seems way too long like awkwardly long so I love the 15 inch length which is considered long but they came out in briar rose oh my gosh I am obsessed with briar rose I think this is such a cute little skirt might have to pick this up for golfing season next year but I probably won't be wearing it all winter because it gets really really cold where I live so skirts aren't really on the horizon for me personally we got some more speed ups in moonlit magenta another beautiful color Color. some all yours tees oh no nope, not in Canada we got this new pattern in the alliance called diamond dye starlight smoked spruce and then in the line reversible bra it is smoked spruce on the other side I like smoked spruce I'm really hoping we get some alliance or a restock of the wonder trains in these because I would love to get my hands on this color perfect for fall and winter absolutely love it we do have this Kara brown scuba funnel neck Honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the scuba funnel necks. I feel like this one is pretty similar to Rover, but I think Rover is a little bit lighter and more like gray in undertone, where this one's more like brown in undertone, if that makes any sense. Like brown and green, where Rover is like gray e green. I don't know if that makes any sense, but got some more faded zap in the free to be wild bra. I wish I loved these ones, but honestly, I just. I feel like the sizing is a little awkward for me. I'm right between like a two and a four, where four is like comfortable, but then it's kind of too big here. So I wish I loved those ones because they are super, super cute. We also have this Swiftly Tech in Psychic. What a gorgeous color. This reminds me of like the royal blue-ish colors from last year. I think it was like Larkspur or something. So again, great for fall and winter. And I love that they paired it with the faded zap here. I think that is so cute. Absolutely love the Swiftleys. We also have the Shadow Bloom Moonlit Magenta slash Faint Lavender. Not a huge fan of this kind of color pattern thing we got going on. We're going to see a lot of it in this drop. But uh, yeah, it, I mean, yeah, here it is in the tank. It's not the worst thing. I just don't really... It kind of looks like it got accidentally bleached really bad. So that's just my opinion on it, but let me know yours down in the comments, of course. This Classic Fit Cotton Blend t-shirt, I've yet to pick some up, but I do love the natural ivory color. I think it is a really nice, like, obviously well-fitting basic t-shirt. So if you're in the market for something basic, I feel like this natural ivory is a really good option. We also have another crazy pattern in our Swiftly text called the Primal Clash. This one's black and gull gray. Not a huge fan of the Primal Clash series. That's all I have to say about that one. We got the scuba hoodie plush. I really hope these come into store because I want to try one and try it on just to see what is different about it. I know it's like extra fleecy and soft on the inside, but like, I don't know, is it is it necessary? Do I need this? I don't know. I feel like the regular scubas are already pretty soft, but I am always cold in the winter. So I feel like this would be a good option. Plus I love this like heathered white. It's kind of like the heather core ultralight gray but obviously it's a little bit lighter than that. So I feel like that's a really nice basic staple. And if I'm always cold in the winter, then that might not be a bad thing to pick up. The next thing we have here is the hold tight long sleeve shirts. I actually just picked up two of these um, in natural ivory and the roasted brown color. We also have Tidewater Teal. Highly, highly recommend these shirts. I absolutely love them. They are the best, like well-fitting, comfortable shirt. Just a basic long sleeve. I can't get enough of them. I think they're 
gonna be so cute to pair with skirts or jeans or like my leggings joggers and they're just so versatile so highly recommend checking these out if you don't own one already love the whole tight long sleeves I don't know if I love the tank and the short sleeve as much the short sleeve is okay for like summer but absolutely love the long sleeves when it comes to winter we have icing blue back in our leggings this is the align high-rise crop with pockets not a huge fan of the align pants with pockets to be honest I don't know I just don't love the feeling of all the seams because when I think of aligns I already want to be like comfy and you know have that very lightweight sensation I feel like the seams definitely add a little bit of a hug to compress sensation so I don't know I just don't really have a whole need for it but oh my gosh this color is so cute oh this is something else I also have my eye on this is the merino wool blend ribbed long sweater Love the sidekick color, but of course I do love the roasted brown. I feel like this is the perfect fall cardigan. It is just so like soft and like the perfect length. I don't know what it is. Like it's a great layering piece. It's not itchy with the merino wool. So I know that's like a big concern, but honestly, really, really love that one. Oh, we have the Align Reversible Bra for C and D cups in pale raspberry and the Diamond Dye Starlight pattern. Wonder Pop Jacket in Trench, also a great option for like that fall winter. Depending on how cold you run in the winter, I am always freezing. So the Wonder Pop isn't quite warm enough for me. I liked my Snow Warrior that kind of had like a wind kind of protective layer on it where I feel like this one is a little bit more subject to wind, but it is a good jacket. Here we have the Soft stream long sleeve half zip dress now I feel like this one had potential however the half zip kind of just ruins it for me like I feel like this could have been cute for like a little holiday party if it was like you know scoop neck kind of thing or I don't know like where would you wear this to honest question let me know down below how would you style this where would you wear it to because when I look at it I I'm drawn a blank I have no idea where I could wear that to if necessary if I had such event to go to I also have this water repellent insulated vest <laughs> Yeah, this is not the vibe for me. It kind of makes you look like you're a green bean or a pea pod. I don't think it's any better in black, to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna take a pass on that all together. We do have a new, we got a whole bunch of fleece items. So I wanna kind of talk through the fleece line as well. Beginning with this textured fleece embroidered logo hoodie. The fleece stuff I feel like definitely has a lot less stretch to it than the regular kind of scubas and hoodies and stuff like that. So I would potentially consider sizing up depending on how much room you want it to be. Keeping in mind it's going to get obviously more oversized as you do size up. So keep that tidbit in mind. I don't know if I love the textured fleece line it's cute i like the smoke spruce color but i just feel like it's such a limited time to wear it that for the price point that it is i don't know if i get enough like wears out of it if you know what i mean we do have some grooves in the water drop color absolutely obsessed with water drop groove pants are great as well oh the swiftly relaxed half zip that is also new I have yet to really try these i don't think we have any in our store in like my size so i want to try it in my size to give it like a fair review but I'd be interested in this you guys know I love the swiftly line and now they have it in a half zip which I think is a great addition so we got water drop vapor black rhino gray gold gray and white and smoke spruce slash wasabi yeah I don't know if you guys have tried this already let me know down in the comments if you like it what are your thoughts on it is the zipper irritating while you're running or training is it handy because then you kind of have some more breathing room there i don't know it's kind of cute though i do want to try it out potentially all right another item in our fleece lineup is the return of the everywhere belt bag in the fleece edition same colors as last year we got burnt caramel the natural ivory and the black now this year the black has gold detailings the natural ivory has silver detailings and the burnt caramel has gold detailings they do have the extended strap on the back as well and they did get a little bit of a price increase to 64, which is definitely a lot for a belt bag. I mean, I get it. 
obviously the Sherpa is going to add to that cost and the fixtures on it like the buckle and the zipper and the Lululemon logo on it are definitely a lot nicer than the typical Everwore belt bag so I do see where they're coming from there. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't make any new colors either. I would have loved to see like a smoked spruce in it, a red merlot, that faint lavender that we've been seeing in some of the fleece items. That would be super pretty in this one. I'm gonna hold off on buying these unless there's a new color because I do have the ivory from last year that I really like in the original strap, which again, just works a little bit better for me. I'm super happy to see that these are back, but unfortunately I'm going to take a pass on them right now. A whole bunch of new beanies and stuff that are landing in a store. This is the textured fleece knit beanie. It looks super comfy and cozy. I'm just not a huge fan of these colorways. I mean, it's kind of fun, but like also kind of a lot. It looks like a little bit of an optical illusion going on, if you know what I mean. We also have the Warm Revelation beanie in Wasabi. I still have my eye on this faint lavender color though. I do love purple. Uh, what else do we have here? Oh, the modul modular phone fleece crossbody bag. And again, the light ivory, black and burnt caramel. Honestly, I mean, yeah, these are cute, but I don't really know how much you could actually fit in them other than like phone, your AirPods, and that's pretty much it. So I would just stick with my belt bag personally. I like the belt bag a lot more, but again, if you have a need for this, if you have a use for it, then jump on it. It's cute. Uh, ooh, textured fleece knit neck warmer. Okay, I feel like this would be, you know, great for if you snowshoed or skied or hiked in the winter. Obviously, it's going to keep you nice and warm. Looks super cozy. Oh, we also have the new quilted grid belt bags and tote bags and stuff. I don't know, I don't really get it. I don't get the fashion statement behind it. I'm sure it's very cute and stylish and I hear it's a knockoff for a designer bag. So totally understand it there. But for me personally, I'm not a huge like designer bag follower. So I don't really get it. I am just gonna stick with my normal belt bags. But textured fleece line mittens. Wow, these, these definitely look like an optical illusion happening. A little bit much for me, I think. Oh, and then you can get them as a set. That's cute. I like that, that you can like bundle it. Cute little Christmas gift if you guys are already shopping for Christmas gifts. We got the fleece bucket hat. That's definitely gonna be a no for me. I am not a bucket hat gal and I just, I don't know. I don't think fleece is, fleece needs to be on that. Anyway, we also have the nano clip on backpack in the fleece. Everybody loves these for their dogs and cats and other pets, etc. Technically it is like a keychain item, although I'm not really sure what exactly you would put in this keychain type thing. Maybe some AirPods, I don't know. So let me know down below how you use these things because I just don't really understand why you need a mini, mini, mini backpack. Other new things that have dropped mainly in the department of scubas, we got the full zip in Cara Brown and Tidewater Teal. And I think natural ivory since this came out, but I know that's not like a new this week kind of thing. We also have the scuba oversized half zip fleece hoodie. There was a natural ivory one, but I'm pretty sure it's sold out. So we have smoke spruce, faint lavender and black. And in the US, and unfortunately Canada did not receive this item yet, is the scuba funnel neck, oversized funnel neck, but it is a bum covering length. So it's not gonna be a cropped one, which is really nice. Cause I know a lot of people wanna love the scubas, but they don't really love the length without having to size up too many. So I feel like that's a really good option as well. It looks super cozy and comes in all the same colors. So I will have that linked down below if you want to check it out or if you're from the US and you're able to purchase it. So I'll have that linked down below. Honestly, my mind is kind of blanking on what is actually new, but let's run through kind of the legging section and just see the new patterns and colors and stuff so that I can chat about them. We got roasted brown in our line pans and the Meteor Wash Print Multi and the Diamond Dye. I would love to see more Align Pan colors like the Briar Rose, the Water Drop, Smoke Spruce, Kara Brown, et cetera, et cetera, come out in the Aligns. I feel like the Align game has been slacking lately, so I hope it picks up pretty soon here. Like I said, I'd love to see a Smoke Spruce um, restock on these. Still waiting for that. Let's see what else. Oh, okay, this pattern called the Floral Spray Multi. This is in the base pace and the Fast and Freeze. And honestly, I kind of like it. For a 
very bold pattern. I feel like it would look cute with a solid top and I have like all of these colors in these pants here. So I feel like it'd be a very cute workout outfit. Personally, the Fast and Freeze aren't really for me. So I definitely go with the base pace leggings. These are for sure gonna hit on Markdown. So I'm definitely going to keep my eye out and pick them up then. But I think the pattern is actually kind of cute and has a lot of potential, especially for like a little workout fit. I like it. I don't know if we got too many other colors, a lot of psychic in the kind of training leggings. Okay, it might have been only those patterns. I know we got some more in stills. We have the smoke spruce in instills and the roasted brown green foliage, brighter rose. However, I just, I don't know. I don't love the scene details on that one. I just feel like it accentuates in the wrong places for me. They are like a great alternative to the aligns if you don't want something that is going to be so delicate, but still that really nice soft feeling. We also have a few new sweaters as well. We have the return of the reversible crossover sweater in white opal, cassis, chambray is a new color this year, and the heathercore ultralight gray, I also believe is a new color this year. I feel like these sweaters have really great potential. However, apparently they shrink a lot in the wash, which kind of makes me hesitant. I also tried this on and I didn't really love the way that it kind of laid on my body. It just didn't really do anything flattering for me. As much as I want to love this sweater, I just feel like there's other sweaters from Lululemon that maybe flatter me a little bit more and that I, that I gravitate towards a little bit more than these ones, sadly. But that is all that I can find for new and noteworthy items at Lululemon. Leave me a comment down below your favorite item that has released recently from them or what is an item you are hoping to see in the new releases coming up. If you enjoyed this video, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And with that, I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!